Hey guys, in this video, we are going to be talking about when exactly are you a millionaire? And this is really like a reaction of a reaction. So most of you guys have heard of uh, Graham Stephan. I think that's how, how you say his name or Graham Stephan. I don't know how to say his name. Okay. But uh, this guy, wealth hacker, Jeff Rose, right? He actually did a reaction to the video that Graham Stephan has on cnbc where they basically they follow him around and basically they interview him on how he made his money his you know his real estate properties or uh, youtube etc and there was a good message that i feel that your boy jeff rose right shout out to jeff rose it's my first time watching him uh but i like his content i'm already a fan and he makes a really good point I make is really just seen as a bonus and I save and invest it. Yeah, something I always wonder when I see that somebody is a quote unquote millionaire, especially when it comes to, to real estate. And I'm not questioning Graham's millionaire status, just more in general, is that if somebody is a quote unquote millionaire is that does that mean they have a million in the bank does that mean that they have real estate properties that are appraised at a million the, the reason i ask is because just because you say it's worth a certain price doesn't necessarily mean that you are going to get that price whenever you want it so to me i always i tend to think of millionaires that have a million in the bank uh that have a million that's liquid something that they needed it tomorrow or say three business days they can get to it. Um, but I know that everybody's definition of a millionaire or multimillionaire is different. So just something I always I just like to ask, I like to probe a little bit to find out what that looks like. All right, guys. So you already heard it <laughs> from your boy, Jeff Rose. And I think he really, you know, he nailed it, right? He pretty much said what it was because i feel like now in this world of social media and social media influencers right a lot of people want to use the word of millionaire right when they might have some properties or they might say hey i'm a millionaire when they might have close to a million dollars in property okay i've seen this done plenty of times and one thing that you're gonna get from me is the truth and the honest goddamn truth when it comes to uh stuff like this all right you're not gonna find me saying hey guys i'm a millionaire if i don't have a million dollars right i'm never going to say that okay i'm not a millionaire i'm just a regular dude okay and i feel like a lot of times now we're seeing it here in the tech industry we're seeing it you know in other uh industries and other niches where people go in just to pretty much big themselves up and and get those views right where they say hey man i'm a millionaire guys we're balling right we we got properties we got this this and that i'm gonna be honest with you guys <laughs> anybody can go ahead and buy two properties for five hundred thousand dollars each are you a millionaire or do you have properties that equal to the value of a million dollars but in reality you still got mortgages you still got loans that you got to pay you know what i'm saying like do you have a million dollars just because you have property that does not mean you have a million dollars right i guess i'm old school right i guess in this world of social media and you know again we're not throwing no shade at uh stefan gray or uh, was it graham stefan or uh, stefan graham i don't know his name um you know i'm not throwing no shade at him at all but i i do wonder you know nowadays i mean what exactly makes you a millionaire right are you a millionaire when you have the cash or are you a millionaire when you come in and you say hey I got properties that are worth this, right? Because this happens all the time. I, I, I know people who own multiple properties and don't have $50,000 cash, okay? So are you a millionaire, right? Or the value of your properties are a couple of millions, right? A couple of M's, right? Or it could be equal to a million, right? And, you know, this is where you, you got a question, certain situations where you're like wait is this clickbait or is this like real thing 
right like <laughs> like straight up you know i see this all the time where people come in and be like hey man i'm worth you know seven figures i'm worth this this and that and it's like wait when you start thinking about it you're like wait hold on you you're doing mortgage payments wait your bank account you barely got a hundred thousand cash wait you you don't have no stocks right or wait <laughs> you got nine hundred and eighty eight thousand dollars right <laughs> that does that make you a millionaire right does that make you a millionaire right mm -hmm. um to me personally i think for you to really consider yourself a millionaire i think you got to go to the two million dollar mark okay that's what i think right uh and that's what i believe right you got to have two million dollars because having 900 even 99 99 you get what i'm saying like thousand dollars that does not make you a millionaire right or even if you go and you have let's say one million and fifty thousand but then you got to pay rent then you got to pay uh, mortgages then you got to pay business expenses and then at the end of the month you're back to nine hundred thousand something right and like i said a lot of times most people don't even have a million dollars cash okay if they need to buy something can they buy it okay um are you a credit millionaire right some people might have you know uh different uh business models where they can pretty much they could pull out a million dollars but is that a million dollars that you might have or is that just a loan that they just gave you you get what i'm saying like for me i feel like the day i say i'm a millionaire i'm a millionaire you know what i'm saying like I'm, I'm not gonna come in here i'm not gonna flex i'm not gonna fake flex i'm not gonna do anything for the views i'm not gonna do anything how they used to say do it for the vine like i'm not gonna do that right i'm gonna keep it simple right and the day i do say hey i'm a millionaire i'm a millionaire there's a million plus in there okay two million minimum okay that's how i look at it right it's not gonna be like oh i got you know five hundred thousand in this property i got two hundred thousand in this other property i got another two hundred thousand in this property and then i get a fifty thousand dollar income every month and then that makes me a millionaire like nah man this is all stuff that you see uh <laughs> in social media and you know in online right now again i'm not talking about uh graham stefan um i think he's a cool dude uh i'm talking about in general like you know just from what we've seen right we, we, you know there's people that we're not gonna name they'll be like i'm a millionaire like <laughs> youtuber slash millionaire slash developer slash uh your mama's best friend slash everything right <laughs> and it's like but do you have a million cash do you have money on you do you even have stocks do you even have wh where is that million where where does it go you get what i'm saying because people come in and, and they go in, they buy a property and it's like, bro, you don't have a million dollars. right? Let's say, for example, I'll give you an example. Um, I know somebody very, very well who says he's a millionaire, right? Mind you, that's because he has about three properties and each one of them is like 400,000, which is great, right? He has four, you know, three properties are 400,000, right? In total, that's like what that's 1.2 million dollars right okay but each property that he has he still owes money on it okay and even when he does sell it okay he's gonna sell it and then he gotta pay off the <laughs> the actual bank right you get what i'm saying like let's say for example you own this this three properties right there are four hundred thousand right on each property you already paid off a hundred thousand if tomorrow you say hey man i gotta liquidate everything i need a million dollars cash you're not leaving with a million dollars cash you're gonna pay off the loan okay and whatever you already paid off right that is basically let's say the property is worth four hundred thousand and you paid only a hundred thousand from there you get to keep a hundred thousand because that's yours the rest that's what you gotta pay so at the end of the 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 whole thing is how much do you have left i mean simple math right it's three hundred thousand you're not a millionaire yet you gonna say <laughs> you, you, you got what i'm saying so little things like that is where i'll be like hmm 
You get what I'm saying? It's the same thing when people come in and they have businesses or like, let's say drop shipping, right? And, or even like, let's say people who sell courses or, or people who come in and, and, and basically have any type of business that they're selling any type of product, right? And they'll come in and, and give you the total income that came in, right? They're not counting the expenses, how much they're paying for advertisement. They're not counting any of those things. How much does the items cost, right? They're not counting any of that. They'd be like, hey, I got a six-figure, seven-figure uh, drop shipping store. I got a, a seven-figure uh, business, this, this, and that. But it's like, how much do you keep from that? And then you're like, oh, well, you know, uh, out of every 500000 we get to keep 150 now, are you a millionaire? Is your business worth a million dollars? Or uh, you, you know what I'm saying? Like now we, we start questioning it, right? For the people that don't know about this, right? They might get impressed. Once you start getting some type of income, once you start having business, the real dudes that understand how this shit works, we don't get impressed by a lot of stuff that, that people do out here. It's all clickbait. It's all finagle. You, you know what I'm saying? Like it's all hustles. Right. It's like people don't come in and, and, and tell you the actual money that they leave with. Right. And this is all the things that you're going to find on, on social media. Once again, we, I'm not talking about uh, Stefan uh, or Graham Stefan. <laughs> oh, my God. It's like Graham Stefan is like two names. <laughs> it messing me up, man. Um, but, you know, I'm not talking about that, dude. I'm talking about in, in general. Right. Just like the things that you're going to find here on social media, right? Like you got to understand how people finesse the game. Okay. And there's times that people fake it till they make it. You know, they'll come in and be like, Hey guys, I am a millionaire. I got a Lamborghini. Are you a millionaire or are you just somebody that can pay the $4,000 payment on the Lamborghini? You got what I'm saying? That's where, <laughs> that's where it's like, uh, but shout out to, uh, this dude, Jeff Ross, I'm a fan now. I like, I like seeing real content. I like seeing when people come in and, and give like real opinions from like a business owner, um, slash entrepreneur, right. That you can tell, like they understand the game, right. They understand the game, right. And once again, this has nothing to do with Graham Stephan. Um, but this does make sense. That whole comment that he just put in there, it was just like, Mm, just by the way, I mean, are are people really millionaires or are they just saying, hey, I got a few little properties and, you know, that makes me a millionaire, right? So a little food for thought. Okay, guys. Anyways, man, if you're looking to learn how to code, guys, and you like this type of content, right? Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like this video. Go to my website, codingphase.com, where we teach you guys how to code, give you the skills that you need to get a job. And then from there, I also teach you guys how to make money online with your skills. All right. That's what I do. Right. I'm, I'm not a wealth uh, specialist. Right. I'm not, uh, <laughs> you know, a social media influencer. I'm just a regular dude that knows how to code and I can make money with the skills that I have. All right. If you want to be one of these guys, right. <laughs> then you can follow them if you want to be somebody like me uh that you know we like to use the skills that we have and and try to make income from it hey follow me all right it is what it is guys i'm gonna see you guys later take care it's your boy joe back at it again codingface.com leave a comment below let me know what do you think when exactly can you consider yourself a millionaire is it when you have properties or is it when you have a million dollars plus and does having a million dollars even puts you in the millionaire status because you could literally go and buy something for ten thousand dollars twenty thousand dollars and then now you're back to being just a nine hundred thousand air all right <laughs> let me know in the comment section take care guys bye